Okay, we're recording. Alright, so it's a power on from cold food, right? That's like what, below 10 seconds? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then what else can this thing do? Um, so this is Core i5 based? This is not uh, anything we talk about today, okay. it's just core. Just core, but dual core. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Uh, but not Atom. So it's not Atom for okay. sure. Then you can go and it'll And how big are these images? Uh, those are massive images. They are high def uh, pictures and then you're running them on a 1080p screen. So it's, okay. uh, it's pretty nice. And if you look at the, you know, how, how you can zoom. You get good viewing angles because this is an IPS so panel, right? This is an IPS panel. Uh, then I can go and start running things, uh, like uh, I can go and rub Internet Explorer, oh, here we go, and then I can uh, select something you like, uh, try to get it, here we go, and go very fast, I can zoom in, zoom out, up, you see the speed of the refinement of the character is standing. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a beast. Um, then I can uh, go through the, the other application. Up. I can go back to Windows. Uh, I can run one app. Uh, and are we allowed to talk about any other specs of this device? Connectivity mm, and stuff? No. Okay. Uh, up. Why should we? Uh, no, no, not wireless connectivity. I mean, like it's got USB 3, for example. It's got USB 3, it's got Thunderbolt. Okay. Uh, and then so presumably, because it has Thunderbolt, this could hook up to like a pretty decent external storage array. Like this could conceivably be a desktop as well as your tablet, as well yeah, as your exactly. notebook. Exactly, and you could even maybe connect a graphic card. Yeah, totally. And, and connect a very large monitor too yes. when you want to. Um, can we talk about battery capacity at all? Um, the official statement is going to be eight hours battery life. Okay. And uh, we're going to stay there. Okay, that's fine. But you know, again, you know, it's really, really fast. You can't humanly possibly catch up. That's cool. Can you hold it up just so we can get an idea of the size? Yep, so. yep that's my hand. We can actually let it rotate. Uh -huh. Probably not in this app. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, let's do it again. Yep. Can you just tilt it so we can see the thickness and everything? Oh. And is it actively or passively cooled? It's actively cooled, but you can't hear the fan for the moment, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's quiet. So it's, uh, it's very quiet. Going back to this. And is there any room to exploit things like configurable TDP with this? It is probably doing it one day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <trip, huh? laughs> uh, um, can you give us a quick tour of just all the stuff on the outside? So what do we have over here? We have so here you have on the board you have USB three. Okay. And it's a one USB three port. That's a mini HDMI. Okay. You have the power connector. You have a nice support for the high-end Dolby uh, home theater. Okay. Professional tuned. Professionally tuned uh, speakers. And then you have the sound, you know, same thing, and the power button. And then the little holes for the active cooling when you get nuts on what you need to do. Okay. But, you know, here it's very quiet. Cool. And then this is officially the Iconia W700? That's officially the Iconia W700. And, and available whenever Windows 8 is available? Exactly, and uh, I believe this is the fastest of all. Cool.